Hi campers, it's Katrina here. So today, instead of doing something unhealthy, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a really nice um, salad with a homemade balsamic dressing. So first I'm gonna run through the ingredients you are going to need. So you're gonna need some lettuce. Um, any type of lettuce, you can also do with spinach or arugula. I have some green leaf lettuce. And then for vegetables, you really can add whatever ones you want. I'm just going with these ones today. So I have some radishes. I have a red pepper. And then I also have a cucumber. Those are the vegetables. You can also add carrots if you want. Um, fruits, you can also add some apples in it. That would also be nice. So whatever your favorite vegetables are, feel free to add them to your salad. And then for the dressing, we're gonna need four different ingredients. So you're gonna need balsamic vinegar. You're gonna need some olive oil, some Dijon mustard. And then you're gonna need some um, pure maple syrup. So make sure it's the pure one. You can usually get it at any grocery store. Now I'll run through um, the supplies we're gonna need. So you're gonna need a cutting board to cut up all your vegetables. And then you're gonna need a knife, of course. Then you're gonna need some type of bowl, uh, maybe a little bit bigger than this bowl if you're making a big salad for your family. Um, and then a little, little bowl with a fork or a whisk uh, when we're mixing up our salad dressing, okay? So if you guys can get that all together, we can give our hands a good wash because that's the most important step. I've gone ahead and chopped up all my vegetables. So I didn't want to go through this step individually just because everyone's probably going to have different ones. So I'll just kind of go through the ones I did. So I have my red peppers. And then if you can see, I just cut it into small little... I would say about like centimeter sized slivers. And then I have my radishes right here. Cut them into little half moons. And then I also added some cucumbers right here. So I just sliced them and then I just cut them into little strips like that. And then I went ahead and chopped up my green lettuce just in there. So now for this step, uh, we can just add our veggies to our salad. So I'm gonna grab my cucumbers, just sprinkle them around. It's gonna do a little bit of each. Again, it's as many vegetables as you want. So I have my cucumbers in there. Then I'm gonna grab my red peppers and just sprinkle it around. Adds a lot of color. There we are. And then finally, I'm gonna add my radishes. So just put that everywhere, all over. So that is my salad right there. So now that we've assembled our salad, uh, we're gonna do the dressing. So first, I want you to grab your bowl. And then the first thing we're gonna add, and if you have, um, some measuring spoons. If not, you can just use a normal spoon and just kind of guess the measurements. So we're gonna grab our balsamic vinegar and we're gonna add two tablespoons of that. So a tablespoon is about one of these regular spoons. So you're just gonna pour in two tablespoons and then just add that to our bowl. Sometimes I like to add a little bit extra balsamic vinegar just to give it more taste. And then we're gonna grab our pure maple syrup. And then we're gonna add one and a half tablespoons of that. So I'm just gonna pour that again into the spoon and add it to our bowl with the balsamic vinegar. Perfect. Then we're gonna grab our extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna add one tablespoon of that. So again, using the same spoon, adding it to our mixture. And then the last step to our dressing is we're gonna add our Dijon mustard and you're gonna add half a tablespoon. So 
I'm gonna just a little bit of Dijon just to give it a little extra flavor. So again, half a teaspoon of that. Perfect. And then we're just gonna mix up everything. So this is approximately one serving of dressing. So if you're making a bigger salad for your family, you could even think of doubling or tripling the recipe. What I like to do at home is I'll have a big jar and then I'll make a huge batch of it. And then you can just keep it up to your fridge and it lasts um, for a couple months. And then sometimes the olive oil will just rise to the top and all you gotta do is give it a good little shake. So you're gonna mix it up in your bowl. Again, you can use a whisk, a spoon, whatever you want. So it'll kind of um, still have the color of balsamic, um, of a balsamic vinegar. Give it a good mix. And then we're gonna take our salad that we already had, and then you can just drizzle it over top as much as you want. Just over top of everything. I like to add a lot of dressing. But again, add as much as you want, maybe toss the salad around a little bit, and maybe give it a little taste test. All right, and then the last step is just to eat it. I want to thank everyone for joining me um, on making this nice summer salad. And I hope everyone has a great rest of their week, and I'll see you guys all again soon, all right? I'm Katrina, and I'll see you later.